hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another video and in this video we are going to talk about nest.js microservices so this video is a part of playlist in the earlier videos we have already covered how to build the basic uh, microservices and we created a skeleton of code and now we decided that we will add a couple of more tcp services which we can call through the gateway so this is the architecture i we are going to explain i mean we are going to talk and understand the architecture and then we are going into the code and let's see how this gateway which is just exposing the rest interface is talking to these small simple microservices using tcp interface and how this gateway is getting the response back and how we are returning that response to the client so i have spent a good amount of time this weekend to build this demo example so i hope this demo example will be helpful for you to understand a simple architecture which is something like this so we are already using this pnpm workspace and we have a couple of packages you can see auth config database logger tracing typings because these packages i'm using across these different microservices we have user service token service and processing or any kind of service whose routes are protected you cannot access them you just need to have authorization token for that okay so i try to orchestrate this simple example where one is a user service which is just storing the the user one is a token service which is taking the user id as an input and storing uh, creating the token and storing it in, in the database and once you'll do the user do the logout it is deleting the token from the database we are saving the jwt token state in the database and then there is an external service which you can access only if you have a token and these are you can say a monorepo packages which are added to all these services the important part is how we write the gateway so gateway is simple gateway is just a controller a rest api controller okay and then uh, this gateway has these simple simple tcp clients those tcp clients are nothing but injectable services using this we are able to call the user service token service and the processing service or whatever so we need to just create these token clients which we already had had created in the last video now we will just work on the changes and i will explain whatever i have done i mean there are many file changes 102 a very big changes right uh, i also introduced the docker because now we are going to store the data so we do have these two docker containers service user service token and these are the the ports 5440 5439 and when you do docker compose up both of these containers will be running with the, the database and you can connect to these databases using the username password and this port okay now what are these these all are the postgres applications one is the gateway another is the two tcp based services okay gateway has a simple controller now let's talk into talk in terms of code what we are talking here so it will it is having simple rest api nest js yes, controller controller has a simple get put post patch delete methods and then inside a controller you have injected these uh, clients these tcp clients tcp client proxies which we need to add so first of all what i did is now we do have a lot of things inside our configurations i updated the config package so here you can see config default uh, config service and this is my config interface we do have two external services user service and the token service these are the two tcp based services and you can see here user service and token service this is how we can populate the values from the process.env user service host and port because we need to know on which host and port these ex these small uh, tcp based services are running and what is the transport mode it's a tcp it's a kafka it's you can see all the different options grpc kafka mqtt nets redis rmq and tcp right now we are talking about tcp here you can add another service and this config module we are using in all the packages so these and these are all the other values env port uh, database because we are using postgres database to store some data swagger auth authentication we are using auth to auth 
auth configurations to generate a token so we just need a auth access token secret and while decoding we are using the same secret token to verify if the token is valid right so this is a config module which i have added and another most important thing is i have updated the package definitions now we have moved to nestjs 9.x because i was having some issues struggled a little bit then i thought of upgrading everything to 9.x including the type orm and nestjs type orm which are compatible with the nestjs 9.x rest we have these dependencies which has been added nestjs config nestjs database on mostly all the packages so when i go to the nx i can see all the magic happening here i can do all the build command so you can see common nx commands run many build target build command so let's say i want to build all the applications together because now all the applications are healthy so all the packages and all the applications will be built will be we will be able to build successfully without any error so i will also commit this code and then we just need to start auth service uh, gateway and the token service to play with this simple demo okay now this http gateway what this http gateway is doing it has a simple tcp client you can see service and we'll go to first command main.ts it's a simple setup right and here in the app module you can see we are using two services token service and user service and this is how we are adding the token we are how this is how we are creating a token proxy client and user proxy client config service is already external coming from external module and this is how you can register a particular provider right so now what i will do is i will inject token service and user service inside my controllers so i'm using config service i got all the config service options these options are nothing but host port and the transport this is my token service this is my user service and this is my auth guard we will see what auth guard is doing okay so this is my user controller controller is important because here we are injecting both the uh, providers user service and the token service and now what you will do is you can access the user service uh, instance and then access the methods defined there so what you can do is you can so this is a tcp based right so here we are going to let's say i want to emit i want to send an action or i wanted to call the tcp based microservice in a normal http world what we will do is okay this is http microservice this is http what we will do is xgos dot get put post patch delete here we already know user service url what we will do is uh, simply patch or request module or xgos xgos dot get put post of this user service url and send the payload whatever authorization token and all you will set but that doesn't work with the nest js tcp based services in the it how it works is it creates a client and then inside a client you can just call this dot client dot send and then you need to pass the command you are sending to the tcp microservice user get by id now the receiver service first of all how we are registering this uh, service user service we have registered it in the app module okay this is my user service this is running on running on this host port host and port and the transport is tcp this we have already registered because this we are going to get from the env and to populate the process dot env what i did is i am importing dot env configs and in env dot example if you see this i will also create env dot example inside this env file what do i have is my user service host and port my token service host and port we will talk about these two external services i mean two uh, nest js microservices based on tcp this is their host and this is the port port only varies and then rest all the other configurations like what is a database database we don't need at the gateway level because gateway is just uh, forwarding the request to the uh, tcp service it doesn't need any database we just have a controller you can see 
there is only controller so get user by id so this is how you will forward the the request and you can send some data so i'm sending a user info dot id so i know like uh, this call we can make only when user is already logged in user you will be passing the token so i will already have the user id so how we define this because what you do is you are just creating a client object client proxy and then dot send the method name which you want to execute and these methods would be defined at the target tcp service so get user by id this is user service and here this is how we define the controllers now when you expose this as a tcp service running on some host and port some source service will hit will call dot send this is the the uh, this is the message name and the payload so this is how we define the message pattern so that okay uh, from the source if i'm sending a uh, i'm doing a dot send user get by id so it knows okay in the target tcp service i need to execute this method i'm getting a user id as input that's it and then obviously you have a database you just read the data and send the result something like this i mean the result format you can decide here i'm sending a status code message and the payload okay now if we go to the source service i will get the data and this data we can use this rxs uh, operator first value from because it may be, we are just treating this response as an observable and we just need to fetch the first value which is coming from this api call this dot, dot send method internally is also calling that tcp service but it's not plain http call where you can use exios and all so this is internally happening similarly uh, you will also send a message to the redis there is a redis subscriber and then you you are a publisher to the redis and then there will be a listener or subscriber that will listen to those events similarly you can send a event pattern message pattern so this is a message pattern get user by id here you can see get user by id message pattern similarly there is something called event pattern when we need it we want we want that when we are using kafka rmqs RabbitMQs, queues and all because the events the messages are asynchronous currently all these events are synchronous source http gateway is sending a request to the tcp this is purely synchronous means when you are sending a request i'm expecting a reply back from this tcp service you need to return some data that i'm collecting in this controller user response and then i'm sending it back to the front end client or whoever is calling this service so this is a simple architecture how you do this you create the clients token service client and user service client and inside a controller because it's just like a gateway we have a single controller we have defined couple of methods you inject them and then using client proxy dot uh, send you send the command i mean i will not use the command word these are you are just sending a synchronous actions to the tcp service and these are the labels which will define what all actions your tcp service can handle because this action is already defined in the tcp service get user by id similarly there are other actions user create and other actions is user login i mean search user by credentials where you will pass the email and password and we will check if this user service has the user with this password and email yes if yes create the token by calling the token service and passing the user id so to call any external service what you need these three lines of code first value from user client service dot send user client service dot send here is a token service client dot send your action name and this is the payload right when you are sending this type of payload here you can also see that there is a login request payload you are sending so where can i find this uh, command we'll go to the user service and go to the controller and you can see we are we are sending these two as a object so these things are already handled how whatever you are sending either a variable or payload you can get the variable and values here and then once you receive the value you will check okay email passwords are correct i will send you the the whole user object in the response so similarly there is a token service 
so how we are doing is this is the gateway gateway just have a controller and inside using controller we are calling these couple of methods first of all get user by id first is user create so user create also we are sending this uh, action to the user service and we are sending the email and password or whatever the cre credentials we are getting for user sign up we are sending all of that and then once the user is created we are sending the response created 201 otherwise we, there may be a, another status message for any kind of bad request or exception if everything is good we will uh, we will send the response otherwise we will throw an exception okay a uh, simple demo i mean this is like a simple apis we have written get user by get users login and uh, create user sign in sign up and just a get user and we have these two other services auth service to validate the token and generate the token here also if you look into token controller i do have this simple method token create and now who is going to call this gateway is going to call token create and it will what it is doing it is it is creating a token i have a nest js zwt module here registered so i am going to create a token with this particular secret and obviously we are using database module which we have created database module dot four root we have a token entity and type or a module dot four feature token entity so i can access this token entity repository in my services okay there is a token controller so i mean these are also similar to the rest uh, based service controllers the only thing is here we are not using get put post patch delete which are used for creating the rest uh, based resources with the, the these different verbs right get put post here these are the message patterns which this particular tcp service can handle when the request is coming from the source and source can be uh, another tcp service or maybe a simple http service or maybe from directly client who can call the tcp because this is tcp based service and you need to create a tcp client so nest.js is create providing you an interface to create a tcp client proxy right and that we are doing at the gateway level here we have created two tcp clients user service and token service this we are able to create because already those tcp services are running so we are just passing host and port even if, even if those are not running it is not going to break i mean application will start but when you send a when you try to call that service then it will say okay not able to find the method or service is not available so when we try to start let's say uh, i will start first our gateway service so you can install this nx uh, plugin that will give you all these things npm run start dev so you need to just take care of these uh, example env files I will also copy them because maybe due to git ignore i will i won't be able to push it so this is env.example this is my env file so this is the gateway service running right gateway service is this it is nothing but this is calling uh, another tcp based service this is calling tcp based service and this is also calling both the tcp based service first it is matching the credential that is there in the user service and then it is generating token through the token service so there are two tcp based microservice one is just to authenticate because this is for demo so i created a token service which is doing nothing but taking the user id and creating a token and saving that in the database so if i try to do user so uh, we can also start other services and let's try to understand the user create flow so from nx console you gateway you auth service start dev user service start dev so this way i can just start all my services and we are using type or a module with postgres so we will try to see what is happening so user sign up user sign up doesn't need any kind of uh, token because this is public api demo at the rate gmail.com and the password is 
demo demo so i'm able to create a user right so what actually is happening from this gateway you made a call right and this call will be going to these services i can see the logs type orm logs that inside user entity it has checked the user already exists or not if not then just insert this data inside your table i'm not using bcrypt module there was some dis dependency issue so i'm just storing the plain password but obviously i won't be committing this i will just add a bcrypt module and then you can just use a bcrypt.compare and bcrypt.hash to store the hash value and compare the password with the original string okay so this is my simple commands you can also use this logger custom logger or you can use a debug to just log the messages so from gateway so how that is happening from the gateway this is my controller i can just try to see create user okay so create user i am getting some payload so this is my dto in the dto what we are passing the email and the password right and this email and the password we are sending directly to the user create you through the client proxy and now this user create what it will do if you see user create inside this pattern so this is the place where the actual user create is happening right so create user we got the username and email and password first we are checking do we already have the user existing user because if i try to create this user again i will get this message right user create conflict why because user already exist and why that is happening we have this code if user already exist then do this otherwise create a user in the system and then return the user to the client so if i just change the email a little bit then i would be able to create a user right so this is how so from this api gateway it made a call to this user service i mean token service there is no uh, no role of token service here so there is no logs coming there it is just creating this user in the database but now when you try to do a login then it will check first it will check in the user service the credentials and then use the token service to create the token so let's say if i'm just doing this this is my login and if i try to access the login what will happen i got the token create success right so but what all apis it is calling it is calling both the tcp service this is my tcp service where we are actually storing the token and then the and generating the token and returning it and this is another service where we are checking okay user exist and then returning the token from this gateway i just write i'm logging the response whatever i'm getting okay so this is like a simple demo let's go into the, the deep understanding how these interactions are happening from the source to the target